Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about text indexes in MongoDB. A text index is basically a special thing that we can put on a collection, which will allow us to do text searching for that collection. So I could write like a text query in like plain English, and then MongoDB would, a would be able to return back to me any records that match that text search. So I'm going to show you guys how we can set this up. And I'm actually going to be using a example that's different from the student example that we've been using up to this point. So I have a bunch of code here and basically what this is going to do is it's going to create another collection called stores. And this is just going to have a bunch of different store information. So we have all these different businesses and actually this is the same example that is used on the MongoDB website. It's a really great example. And so I decided I would use it in my course just um, because I think it illustrates this point really well. So here we're inserting, a bunch of different um, stores, right? So the stores have different IDs, they have a name, and then they have a description, right? So this is would be a, you know a good example of some information that we might want to store in our database. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert all of these records into our store collection, and then we'll be able to create a text index on the name and the description fields. And basically what that'll mean is we'll be able to query the database with just like one or two words, and it'll return entries that match those words. So it'll be kind of like uh, setting up like a search bar or something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert this and this code is going to be available in the description. So I'm going to put this in here and we'll insert all that stuff into the database. So now let's go ahead and just check to make sure it worked. So I'm actually going to open up this side panel and we're going to refresh this over here and you'll see now we have our store uh, collection. So down here in our store collection, we have all of our different stores. All right, so everything is in the database and we're all set up and we're all ready to go. And so now what we can do is we can create our text index. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to type in DB stores. And then I want to say create index. And then inside of parentheses, uh, we're going to put an open and closed curly bracket. And we want to put the names of the fields on the document that we want to put the text index on. So we have uh, the store name and the description. So we can just say name and then I'm just going to say text because that stands for uh, text index and then description and we'll do the same thing. So we'll just say text. Basically what this will do is it'll create a text index on the name and the description fields. And then I'll show you guys in a second what we can do with that. So I'm just going to paste that over here and hit enter. And so now we've created indexes on both of those fields. So now that we've done that, it's actually going to be really easy for us to search for information in the stores table. So what I could do is I could just say like db.stores.find and then over here inside of these curly brackets, I can just say text and this will mean that I want to do a text search and I can make another open and close curly bracket. And in here I could just say search and a colon. And then over here I can put like a search phrase. So let's just put in coffee. So I could put in coffee and this is, will be the same as me like putting coffee into like a search bar, right? And basically what this will do now is because we put text indexes on the name and the description fields, MongoDB is going to go off and it's going to find any documents in the collection which match this search term. So, you know, either the description is going to have this word in it or the name's going to have the word in it or something like that. So let me go ahead and copy this over here. And now when I hit enter, you'll notice that we're getting all of this information back. So I said db.stores.find and we searched for coffee. And when we search for coffee, we get these two entries back, right? So this one is a coffee shop and this one is uh, has coffee and cakes, right? So this one had coffee in the name and also in the description. This one just had coffee in the description but it returned both of those to us. And that's why this is so cool. It's because we can just use like a general search term and MongoDB will basically do all the hard work of figuring out what in the database matches that search term. So let's try another one. Instead of just coffee, why don't we do Java Hut coffee? So maybe I'm you know typing this and this is my search term. So let's go ahead and search this over here. And you'll see now we actually got more entries back. So uh, these are the three entries that we got back this time. So we have um, this one is coffee shop, just coffee, Java hut, 
coffee and cakes, and then Java shopping Indonesian goods. So we were able to return all three of those entries just from typing in that search term. And that's why those text indexes are so powerful, but we can actually uh, do even more with this, which is kind of cool. So another thing we can do is add in something called a text score. So I'm going to go outside of this curly bracket. So you'll see, I have this whole curly bracket section right here. I'm going to go outside of it and I'm actually just gonna make a new line. So we'll come down here so it's a little bit more readable. I'm gonna make another open and closed curly bracket right next to text. And then over here, we're actually going to say score. And so score is actually going to, uh, it's basically gonna rank all of these by like how close they were to the search term. So I can say score, and then I'll make an open and closed uh, curly bracket. And then I'm just gonna say meta colon. And then over here, we can just say, text score. And what this will do is it'll basically rank all of the things that we get back by like how closely they were related to the text that we were trying to find. So this is going to give us a field called score and it's going to tell us basically what their ranking was. So let's go ahead and copy this and we can place this guy down here. So now you'll see when I get back this stuff, these are the same three entries that we got before, but over here I have this score field. So it says score 0.75, score 2.25, and score 1.5. So basically what it's doing is it's ranking them, right? It's, it's telling me how close they were to what we actually entered in. So over here, Java Hut Coffee and Cakes got a score of 2.25. That must mean that it's pretty close to what we entered in. So Java Hut Coffee, this entry has all three of those words inside of it and therefore it got the highest ranking of 2.25. And so that can be really useful, you know, especially like if you're trying to implement like a search bar or something on a website, um, you can use MongoDB to do that automatically for you, right? So MongoDB will tell you like what the most relevant database entries are. And then if you want, you can take it a step further and you could actually sort the entries that you get back by that score. So I could come over here and I'm just gonna make a new line and I'm gonna come here after this ending parentheses and I'm just gonna say sort. So we're gonna sort these. And remember, whenever we sort something, we can provide like a field here. So I'm gonna sort them by score. And over here, I'm just going to do the same thing as we did above. So it's going to be meta text score. So this whole thing right here is going to give us that relevancy score. And now all of these entries are gonna be sorted by that. So I'm gonna come over here, paste this in and you'll see over here, we get all these entries back, but they're sorted by their relevance. So the first one we got back was 2.25, the second one was 1.5, and the third one was 0.75. So, you know, it's kind of like Google, you know, if you search into Google, Google will give you the top result, right? The one that most closely matches your search term. And this is, I mean, it's obviously not as complex as Google, but it's the same thing, right? I can put a search term in there and MongoDB will automatically sort everything in the database for me, and it'll give me back the most relevant documents in order, which is pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.